Today I am here to give you a start to finish tutorial on setting up a BMMP server through Connect Hosting. Firstly, you're going to want to go to the website at connecthosting.net. Next, you want to scroll down and click on BMMP server. Next, you'll want to select what kind of server you'd like. For this tutorial, we will be just be setting up a free trial server, but for example, I will be setting up the options on a paid server. So just for the example, we will show that. So we'll hit order now. And here we will be brought to configure our server. Firstly, you'll notice that we have the billing cycle. You can pay monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. As you can see. Next, you can opt in for advanced DDoS protection, or just keep with the basic. You can pay for up to five backup slots. You can choose whatever location you'd like between Germany, which is the default, and free. The United States, which adds $2. Canada or Australia, depending on what you need. Furthermore, you can opt in to have Cobalt Essential set up, which is moderation tools for your server, and some other essentials for running a server, pretty much. For most basic use cases, you will not need this, but if you have a larger community, it's recommended. Another thing that's recommended for a larger community, but not necessary for smaller communities or just for friends, is a welcome screen. From here, we will go back and do the exact same setup with a free server, but with no options because we want to keep it free. So then we hit continue, and our order seems to be all set up. I'm happy with this. If I was using a paid server and I had a promo code from the Discord, I would enter it right here. So I'm going to hit checkout. And so now you set up your account, so you'll have to fill out your personal information and billing information in order to properly be billed. So I'm going to do that real quick. Once you have filled out all your information, you can scroll down and you'll create your account password. So I'm just going to use suggest strong password, as that is going to be the best way to secure your password. So let me do that. Yep. Yeah. I don't care about the password, so my password is going to be secure. And because it's through Google, I don't have to remember it, and it will be random and secure. Next, you're going to put in either your credit card information or your PayPal. Then you're going to click your CAPTCHA and cl click complete, complete Order. So then it will process, and we will give that just a minute. And I'll give Alrighty, and so now we have our order confirmation. So next, we'll hit continue to client area. This is where you can manage all of your servers. And you can see what servers you have active, what your bills will be, and how many tickets and invoices you have outstanding. Next, we'll click view details. We can click and we can see when the server is registered, how much we have to pay, the billing cycle, the next due date and the payment method. We can request a cancellation or we can upgrade our server. We also have the configurable options, which is what we set up in the start. We can go to manage and click go to panel. Next, we have to log in. Before we can do that, we have to go to our email. So you'll see we have a bunch of emails from Connect Hosting. We want to read through this. We have order confirmation, invoice payment confirmation, your brand new server, account created. So in this email, this is the important one. We also have that the server is installed. So first, we have to go here to account created. We want to click set up your account. We have an email. You'll want to set whatever your password is. And you'll want to remember this password for later and click reset password. And so now we are in the cons, the server panels. So we will hit manage server to go to our server. You can see that it's got a bunch of stuff here. This is the main console section. This is the CPU usage, the RAM usage, and the disk storage. This is the main console. You can see it's giving us an error, so that's not important. We will fix that in just a second, so we're going to hit stop. Next, I will go over what all these buttons on the side do. 
Firstly, we will go over the console properly. So as I mentioned, we have the CPU usage of the server, we have the server's RAM usage, and we have the server's storage usage, all nice and present for us. We have the stats again along the side. We also have the server status, the server name, the IP and port. If you take this number and copy it as is and hit the paste from clipboard button in BMMP in the direct connect section, it will automatically fill it out properly for you. But the first half before the colon is the IP, and the second half is your port. This is your server ID, the short form, and this tells you what server node you're on. This is the main console where you can see what's happening with the server. We have the start button, the restart button, and the stop serve button. These should be self-explanatory. The start button simply starts the server up. As you can see, it starts doing its thing. It's going to give us the same alerts from earlier that we don't have an auth key, which we will get to in just a minute. We have the restart, which stops it and then turns it back on. And we have stop. Next, we have the file manager, which is where you can upload your mods, but we will get to that further in just a minute. We have databases, which is not relevant for BeamMP. Schedules is where you can create schedules to automatically restart your server, which we can do cover in a later tutorial. We have users, which is people, other people who can control your server. Backups are saved backups of your server. The network is not necessary for our purposes with BeamMP. The startup is where most of the action will be happening for this tutorial. This is how you set the basics of your server up. The settings will also be helpful later. This is where you can find SFTP details, which again will be useful when we get to uploading mods to the server. Here you can change the server name, so this will be our tutorial server, and we'll hit save on that. This is where you can reinstall the server if you really need to. And this is where you get your server ID in case you need support in the support channels. You also have the activity, which you can see how who's messing with your server. And so now to get the server properly running. First we go to startup, and we'll see we have the server name. This is the server name that shows up in-game. So this will be our connect hosting tutorial server. The description is what you want the server to say in the server list. The max players is how many people can be on the server at once. The map we can is what this is how you change the map. I will teach you how to do that as well. Next, you have the max curves, so how many curves people can spawn at once. We have private or not. If this is ticked off, then that means the server is public and it will show up in the server list on the BeamMP main page in game if it's ticked on that means nobody will be able to see the ip to your server you will have to give it to them and they will have to use direct connect setting your server to private is not the same as it being whitelist only that will still need cobalt essentials for it version to install is the latest you probably won't need to change that and this is where we get fixed that error the authentication key so we have to change this in order to get this we have to get the server key. The easiest way to get that is to go to BeamMP Keymaster in Google, and this first link here, we click that, and it wants us to sign into your Discord, and this is legitimate, so you'll go ahead and do that, and once swiped on that, I will continue from there. So after having logged in, it brings up this menu, so I'm going to hit Authorize, because I want them to see that my account, and trust me, and so here is Keymaster. So first you're going to go to keys, and you're going to click here, and you'll see here, we'll just do tutorial, this can be basically whatever you like, hit create, and you'll get a key. So we'll copy this key, go back to the server startup, and paste it into this spot here. Make sure you paste it exactly as it is here, just this, and make sure there's no spaces or anything at the end. Once you've done that, you can go back to the console and click start and watch it do its thing. And after that, it should say everything is all good and we can connect to our server. Yep. So just to demonstrate that, we'll go ahead and quickly connect to the server as is. So I'm going to copy the IP here and that will load into BeamMG. 
And so now we are in game and we can go to the MP menu, click to direct connect, hit paste from clipboard and click connect. And this is how you will connect to your server most of the time. We will wait for that to load and once that is loaded, I will be right back and show you what it does. So as we can see, we have connected to the server now that we have just set up. We can see how many players are in the server at the top, a ping or connection to a server. If we click on this button, we can see the usernames of the players, their ping and our ping, and there's also the chat, just like any other MP server. As you can tell though, this is the default East Coast USA map, and you might not want to play on this map. You might want to play on some of the other vanilla maps, or even mod maps. In this tutorial, I will also show you how to change to all the other vanilla maps, and in another tutorial, I will cover mods and modded maps. So let's go back to the server panel and change the map. So now we're back in the server panel, and we can see that I've connected to the server. So it sees that there was a connection. It assigned me to ID 0, which basically means nothing, it's just a backend thing. It says that I connected to the server fully, and that I got synced to the server. So that means everything would line up. Then it also recognizes when I disconnected from the server. So for now, we're just going to hit stop because we don't need the server running. We're going to go to startup and we're going to change the map. So for this example, I'm just going to put Johnson Valley as I know that one offhand, but you have to, you can't just put the map name. You have to use the level info found within the maps files in your game. I will put a list of all of the vanilla map names in the description and what they correspond to, which map they correspond to, so it's super easy to fill this in for yourself. But since we've changed that, we can now go back to the console and hit start. And if we go back over to the game, which we will in just a moment, and reconnect, we will see that the map has changed to Johnson Valley. And with that, you can see that we have successfully changed the map on our server. Still the same player count still the same player, still about the same ping. And with that, we have concluded the tutorial on setting up a server from the start, with just no mods, just a basic server through connect hosting. If I wanted to, I could invite my friends in and start playing right now. This tutorial does skim over a few of the more complicated subjects like adding mods and modded maps, but there will be some t tutorials in the future for how to do that. If you'd like to add modded maps or some higher file size mods than the one gigabyte limit, then you can use, and you're familiar with programs such as FileZilla or WinSCP, those are both supported by Connect Hosting, and you can use those to upload your larger files. I will have a tutorial out for both WinSCP and FileZilla, and also how to activate mod maps in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you for following along. Hopefully this has helped you with your Connect Hosting server. If you have any issues, you can create a ticket in the support discord, which I'll also link in the description of this video.